Nobody rushes the boys married queen. <laughs> Do you beckon Daenerys? I don't think so. We are here at Knott's Berry Farm. We brought our really dark, nasty tri-state area attitude to California. Oh, I'm so thrilled to not be in Florida. I can't even tell you. Oh, I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry, it's too soon. Anyway, we are here to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the park. There is not a boysenberry in the world that can't be traced back to Knott's Berry Farm. Not a thing I knew I cared about, but I care a lot now. I'm ready to eat all the boysenberry things. All the non-boysenberry things, too. I told the food's right back here, so. I'm going, hold on, I'm going. Grill marks on my garlic toast. Has a sexier sequence of words ever been spoken. Do you want someone to wake you up in the morning and be like, here are grill marks on your garlic toast? I need to stop winking, it's not funny. Okay. We're at the Fireman's Brigade barbecue with the pork ribs dinner. These are by far the heftiest ribs I have ever received in any park we visited. What a joy to behold first thing in the morning. Look at the sauce coming off of them. Also, they're like meaty all around, like I could stick my mouth on any part of this and it would be an experience. <laughs> Ooh. Go away, Kelsey. I can tell you definitively that these are my favorite theme park ribs of all time. Also, I was so confident in my ability to bite into it that I didn't even put my hair up to get it away from my face. Like, that's how much meat is on these bones. Is that like, it's far enough from my mouth that I wasn't worried about any like hair intervention. I think the kids call that a glow up. Right? A what? A glow up. I look sexier eating ribs now than I used to. I just have all sorts of stuff dripping all over me. It's some sort of super sweet glaze. It tastes plummy to me. I didn't even get to try my garlic toast. So just bite right in. There's a little soft spot right there. Oh wow. This is like the least fussy garlic bread I've ever had in my life. I taste no cheese, just straight garlic butter bread. The dream, you guys. The dream. <laughs> I love it here. <laughs> Hi. Hi, how can I help you? Can I have some veg, please? For sure. Would you like to sample anything or would you like to like? How many samples is a person allowed? We usually allow just one, but if anything is really piquing your interest, I can help you out. So we got a little excited at the Ghost Town Candy Store. We, uh, we will move on to Boys and Berry Fudge, but first, I saw this tiny little royal icing carrot on top of carrot cake fudge, and I needed it with my heart and soul and everything in me that makes me who I am. This nasty, nasty woman just needed this carrot cake fudge. Oh, it tastes like nutmeg and sugar. Ooh. Oh, God, I love carrot cake. I love anything that tastes like carrot cake. Like, minus the shreds of vegetables, too. <laughs> this is an ideal carrot cake right here. What carrot cake should be? Can you go in slow-mo and can I flip my hair and can we hashtag it California Toss? Keep making eye contact with people who are like in bonnets or have like those sheriff's boots on. And I don't know if that's just how people are here or if those are paid employees of the park. Look at this guy. Like, is he gonna arrest me? Or is he gonna wish me a nice day? Should I share my fudge with him? No. So, we have boysenberry fudge. I love this color. Like, I feel like if my aura had a color, it would just be like dusty sunset. Just really sensual and mysterious. Just kidding. Also, just kind of dull in general, you know? Mmm. Ooh, it got a little melty as we were standing here. Mmm. You know, I purposely avoided boysenberry things over the past few months because I knew we were coming here. And I love boysenberry. So we're not done with the Ghost Town Candy Store. I want a caramel apple. I've seen a few of them since we've been standing here and they look large. They look really large. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so this is a caramel apple which you can get with peanuts, walnuts, M&Ms, any, basically anything you want. We heard Oreo and that was immediately the option we, we uh, jumped on. I don't have any floss sticks on me. 
but I do have bravery and perseverance. Oh my god, it's so good. There are teenagers staring at me in my Oreo teeth. Oh my god. This is luscious. The caramel is hot and the apple is cold and the Oreos are not dusty, which I feel like normally when you get a caramel apple that's covered in Oreos, which how lucky are you to have experienced that in your lifetime? Oh my god. What's wrong with me? I'm so happy. <laughs> I stopped reading the comments, truthfully. <laughs> that's what happened. Wow, have a lovely day everyone. Really wishing you all the best. Kindest wishes, warmest regards, goodbye. We moved to the churro factory. I love churros. I love stuffed churros. I don't know that I've had one in a minute on camera at least. I just kind of feel like I look like if you put like a strawberry through like a, a like a wood shredder. Is my face the color of a boysenberry yet? No. Okay, what I love about this, churro is super crunchy. It's just fried. You get like the texture of all the things in a boysenberry. Which, for those who didn't know, the things in a boysenberry are Blackberry, Loganberry, Raspberry, Dewberry. Boysenberry, no, not a boysenberry. Raspberry, cramp, no. It's a nuanced fruit that you can find here at Knott's Berry Farm. Inside this churro, in fact, you can taste everything that I just mentioned in here. So we're at the candy store. Then, as you may or may not remember, we moved to the churro factory. Now, just keeping you up to date. We're at ice cream. It's called ice cream. I'm not just saying that. Anyway, this is the most generous ice cream sandwich I have ever been blessed with in my 28 years on this planet. Do I attempt to do like one bite that's half of it and then do like finish it off on the other side or I just... I know what you're gonna say, I don't know why I'm asking. I love vanilla soft serve. Oh, it's just delightful. These chocolate chips are not very sweet. They're bittersweet, one might say, but you have all textures, which is so fun, because soft serve is typically soft, as you may or may not know. Um, these chips are nice and uh, like lush, like they're hard on the outside, but they chew easy. And this cookie is crisp. Oh man, I love this it. This is the happiest I've literally ever seen. I know, what's happening? I think I've just given up, burning all the way the down, I don't care. Let me eat my boysenberries with Chelsea when I feel like it. <laughs> anyway, this is delicious. Ice cream sandwich from Ice Cream. Bye. So this is a boysenberry icy, which was a flavor exclusive to the park, which is so exciting. I mean, it means that if you're watching this and you want one, you gotta come here, which is great, please do. I keep expecting boysenberry things to be overly sweet, and they're really not. They're like the slightest bit acidic, which is like this like lovely raspberry forward flavor, and I love them. Hey, do what? you remember what berries are in it? Go. Blackberry, raspberry, loganberry, dewberry. <laughs> is there another one? Oh, that's it, I thought there were five. Oh yeah! Oh, I missed, do it again. Sorry, did I hurt you? <laughs> Whatever, you're fine. Relax, relax Chelsea, relax. I love this, it's actually fun because like behind the scenes I got to see it's being made. And it was straight fresh squeezed lemons and ice. So there's nothing really sweet about it. You want some lemonade? It's really good. Ugh. Pains would be nice to you. Tess, what did you find? Look how it's looking at me. Ugh. They just look like serial killers.
So we wandered from Ghost Town into Fiesta Village. First stop was Cantina. This is a Southwest chicken salad, which has layers of protein. Plus, it's topped with my favorite french fry shaped corn chip strips. Ooh, we got beans, corn chips, chicken, lettuce, some herpico. So I do feel like we've had a lot of variations on this kind of like chicken salad in theme parks. What I appreciate about this one is that it's a bit milder. I'm not like lusting after um, some sort of basic drink of corn. Um, I don't like, I don't need milk. I don't need alcohol. Like I could just eat this straight, minus the seven pounds of corn on the outside. But, salty and smoky. And teensiest, tiniest bit. Spicy, nothing crazy. What if the salad were just corn chip strips? That's my official suggestion to the Knott's Berry Farm food team. And all theme parks everywhere. Hire me, I'm great. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. Excuse me. It's every woman's dream. Sit on a theme park fountain, eating beans before noon. Okay. I deserve to live in a lizard swamp land. I really do. Are no lizards here? No, I don't deserve it. From Fiesta Dog, we ordered a pepper laden Mexican dog, which really is a bacon wrapped hot dog with straight mayo, peppers, and onions on top. I do think because again, we're in self-care mode. Just, just gonna take some peppers off. Really just not trying to die today and ruin my very good mood. They come around once in a blue moon. We really have to ride the wave, you know? Okay. Wait, it's tradition. Do I wish I had eaten this before I ate the Southwest chicken salad? Yes. Do I love it still with every inch of my being? Yes. It's mayo on a bacon wrapped hot dog. California is wild. Oh. So if I need eyes on you or none of this is worth it. <laughs> How's my hair? That can't possibly be true. I have amazing hair. Whoa. I just slithered out. I just like jumped out at you. Oh, oh, sh ah! oh my god, oh my god, that's so fast. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh. Wait, can you do this? Oh my god, it goes so fast. They don't f around in South California. That's scary. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god, Chelsea in a slosh. This is the park that's gonna kill me. Season two has been great. So fun while it lasted. Just don't think I should have eaten a mayo topped hot dog before I got on this ride. When will it stop? It's still going. Oh no. I peed a little bit. Did you have fun? Yeah. Okay. That's all that matters, isn't it? So we circle back to Ghost Town, ended up at the Calco Frico. Get a little bit of guac, a little bit of sour cream, some cheese, and some potatoes. God, uh, uh. oh I thought it was bait. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> Two hands on everything, we're good, we're good. Okay, we're just gonna, can you hear me like breathing heavily? I feel like I got really excited over the carne asada. <laughs> just take a deep breath, relax. Maybe put our hair back up in a second, but okay. So, who doesn't love cheese and meat and potatoes and avocados and cream? If I were coming to the park for a day, and I was like, I'm gonna ball out and have a vat of something for lunch. Mm. This is the something I want a vat of. Ooh. Get like 50-50 guac sour cream. Love the setup. I know, 
what's wrong? It's so weird. These are my garlic parm fries. So immediately as I walked away from the Calico Fry Stand, a trail of garlic butter just like enrobed everyone in my path. It was wild. Fun Chelsea fact. Oh my God. When we're doing beauties and she sees a food that she likes, she goes, ooh, girl. <laughs> and she just did that just now. Wow. They are not around here. <laughs> Literally tastes like pasta. <laughs> Just a girl standing with a vat of fries, wanting to live in a theme park. Ugh, content. Woo! This is your one time that I'm allowing you to sit because that is so big. I think if I still had MySpace, my profile picture would be like, like just emo enough, but like you'd feel like you knew me, like who I really was. I find myself with no utensils, so I'm just gonna. Oh sh! Is boysenberry my favorite fruit of all time? <laughs> I need a spoon. I need a spoon. All right, no more around here. Would eat this alone without having even gotten into the dough of it all. This is also approximately the width of the probiotics I have to take. <laughs> take a horse pill. Wow. Really, just a moment of silence for the thickness off this funnel cake. A moment of silence, please. I'm having the best day of my life. This is wild. You gonna share? No. Spicy chicken sandwich from the wilderness broiler. I see the jalapenos, I smell the jalapenos. I also smell pickles, which is something I very much like with uh, fried chicken. Look at this Mondo ciabatta bun it comes on. Oh my god, okay. God, I love chicken that's pounded into shape it's not meant to be. That is salty and very well fried. But okay. In an attempt to give you what you want, Oh god, it's so spicy. Oh, Chelsea. I need a Diet Coke. Actually, I don't have any money. I don't have any money. Mrs. Knott's chicken dinner. Of all the things you DM'd me about, which there were so many things you DM'd me about, this was far and away number one. This is a legitimately famous meal and I'm so excited to eat it. And once upon a time in the Great Depression it cost 65 cents to eat this whole thing. It's not the case anymore, but I suspect I would pay anything you asked me for this chicken. It smells that good. Expectations are very high. That's good. <laughs> it's really good. What I love is that the breading is not super adhered to the chicken. So every bite you're taking, you're getting some crunchy in there too. It's really salty. How else does one describe perfect fried chicken? Just delightful. I may have been rendered speechless the first time in Iconic Heat's history. I don't know that there's much more to say other than that this is as fantastic as promised. I wanna get into the mashed potatoes. Obviously not the corn, but mashed potatoes. Look at this little like oasis of gravy happening here in the middle. Look at how fun that is. Okay. Dear God. What am I supposed to do with myself now? I just want to sit here and eat this. Oh, hi. Okay, what's exciting about this, just having taken a bite off, is that I think this is like a boysenberry in the flesh. I don't know that I've seen like a whole composed one, but look at it. It just looks like a like a Mondo soft blackberry. Oh man, I love it here. It's like a moment of reflection for me. If 
you were a peanut character, who would you be? Who would I be? Yeah. Oh my god. Pigpen? Oh, yeah, duh. Can confirm, I saw your hotel room this morning. You are Pigpen. Anyway, there is some history with Charles M. Schultz and Knott's Berry Farm. I already forgot about it, but there's a lot of Snoopy here. <laughs> I like him. He's very simple. He went right what through the space. What other option did I have? No, not the front of the space. Let me make out with Snoopy. Leave me alone. Okay. He's a very simple sugar cookie. Not too royal icing. Not too thick. Not too hard. This feels fresh. The cookie is like falling apart as I hold it, melting in the heat. Because you know, I don't exist unless it's 80 plus degrees. We're getting a little preview of the boysberry macaron that's happening during this year's festival. It's really beautiful. It's like iridescent, these sprinkles. I've never seen anything like that. I don't quite know what color that is. That's cool. Like Lucky Charms marshmallow vibes. I feel like my saliva is going to be boysberry colored now. That was really, it's very good though. I like it very much, to be clear. Boysenberry Queen. The first of her name. Sipper of sodas. <laughs> we are at the Calico Saloon. Drinking a Calico Soda. Tastes like, like cherry cream soda. Tastes like cream soda I always used to drink with jelly as a kid. You know how a pastrami sandwich just doesn't taste as good if you don't hold it down with the cream soda? Tastes like that. I want some meat. Also, what a generous helping. I can sip this for the rest of my day in the park. And then have to pee seven times so Chelsea remikes me. <laughs> it's her favorite thing to do. I'm eating a poison bird corn dog now. I was just like, I don't remember putting on chapstick and then I realized <laughs> anyway, we wandered on over to Strictly on a Stick. You can get a regular corn dog. I, of course, opted for a boysenberry one. What's fun about the coating here is that, like, I'm getting, like, little, like, seedy crunches in my teeth because I realized there's actual boysenberry in the batter of the corn dog. <laughs> this tastes like breakfast, though. Like, if you wrapped breakfast sausage in a blueberry pancake, I love meats that really could just be anything. I can't pinpoint what it is. But it's something and I like it. Oh, chocolate. Nobody rushes the boys and Mary Queen. Do you beckon Daenerys? I don't think so. We're ending in a fun bun. I feel marvelous is maybe not the right word, but um, resplendent. Uh, yeah, somewhere in that marvelous resplendent range is kind of how I feel. I would say there are the remnants of a boysenberry corn dog in my gullet still. Um, but in this house, we persevere. A fun bun for those of you who don't know, for those of you who live under Boysenberry top rocks. It's a deep fried cinnamon bun. There's more. Covered in boysenberry glaze. Powdered sugar. And then given to me like this. Is it sugar or glaze on my face? It's everything. Look at the powdered sugar on my arm. I'm meant to be providing a service here that I meant to tell you how these things taste, that you can judge and buy them on your own if you so choose. I don't know what to say other than that you should buy this. 
and you should stuff it into your collective face holes. And maybe then you will forgive me. Do I have a wedgie? Oh, I'm trying. I am. I just looked down to drop my head in shame and I saw confectioner sugar in my boobs, so.